Brawl Stars has many cosmetics and stats, but some are far more impressive than others. These are the biggest flexes in Brawl Stars. Star Shelly. This skin was given to anyone who signed up for the global launch of Brawl Stars. The first million people to sign up got it. So if you have this one, you're pretty much a god amongst men. It shows your dedication to the game and your OG status really shines. On a similar note, the first year player badges, well, it's kind of weird. Predominantly because, well, no one really knows if this is a one year played badge or a one year anniversary badge. But hey, if it's a one year anniversary thing, then that's pretty cool. If you have any of these skins, that's immediately a flex. If you have all of them, then that's a red flag. These are the tier 70 skins on the Brawl Pass, but what makes them so unique is that they'll never be available again in the shop. So these are insanely exclusive, especially if you have the Gale one. If you didn't know, the Brawl Pass was super trash at first so this just shows you pay ten dollars for bad rewards <laughs> is, is that even a flex if you have every single brawler maxed out then that is just insane it means one of three things you're extremely dedicated to the game you know what you're doing or you're grounded for spending all your mom's money there is no in between but by maxed out i mean maxed out every brawler every star power gadget gear if you're crazy a maxed account is just so beautiful and is a crazy flex being in the same match as your favorite YouTuber is just an insane feeling, especially if you beat them. I mean, they're just normal people like us, but the feeling of destroying them at their own job is really fun. Man, I don't even know if the next one is a flex. Having every skin. You're most definitely irresponsible with your money or you're insanely rich. Only one of those is truly a flex. I mean, I never really got it. Why buy skins for brawlers if you never play them? Uh, but whatever, this is definitely a flex if I've ever seen one. Having gold to spend. After the brawl box removal and all of that stuff, gold has been super scarce. There's like two ways to get it and I don't enjoy either of them. If you're one of those people who sit on mountains of gold at a time and can like max out a brawler right when they're released, then hats off to you. That is just unheard of for me. If you bought Gold Mecha Crow or Gold Mecha Bow before Bling, these used to cost 50,000 star points, meaning you had to grind like crazy for these. You only got star points from pushing brawlers or climbing in leagues, and whenever I saw one of these in a match, I just gate my mouth open and go like, WHAT?! The amount of self-control for one of these is just unreal. Having over 7,000 Bling is incredible. It means that before the conversion, you had over 70,000 star points. This just shows your true dedication, and it also means that you'll never have to pay for a skin ever again. Having more than 50,000 trophies is just really cool to me. People talk in my Discord about how they have like 69,000 trophies and I'm just like, ah, oh, that's so many. That's a lot of Brawl Stars and a lot of dedication. That's just a huge flex that money can't buy. Rank 35 Brawlers. This is pretty self-explanatory. If you have any rank 35 Brawler, that means you're a master at them and that's just a massive flex. Only if it's a respectable Brawler. Like if you're going around flexing rank 35 tick, then you're just asking to be bullied. On a similar note, having any mastery title is crazy. That just means you played Brawl Stars for 48 hours of your life to get this. Forget rank 35, you're a pro at this brawler. Having a creator code is only for those who made it in the Brawl Stars internet sphere. Only a select few have this code and can earn those big bucks from this small kickback. As well as this, the creator gets a neat little icon, just adding on to the awesomeness of this flex. Getting onto the leaderboards is just insane. It doesn't matter if it's local, global, or for Edgar, you cook. You cook on the daily. Just like the mastery title and stuff, you know what you're doing and you deserve to be up there. Winning a Brawl Stars esports competition. Okay, okay, I know a lot of you can't really relate to this, but it's really cool. You bring back that girl over to your place and then she sees on a distant shelf this. Oh my gosh, she will be yours forever. Having any of these trophy pins is really cool. Most of them are many years old and weren't the most common things ever, especially these two. I mean, I don't know what else to say. It's always a bit of a surprise when I see one of these in a match. No Hat Mortis is one of the rarest skins in the game. The hat contains his true power and removing that factor makes him nearly unstoppable. If you're one of the few people with this incredible skin, I, I'm, I'm, I, I'm jealous. I think the biggest flex you could have is a tier 70 skin of a brawler the day they're released. This means you spent like a hundred dollars for some short-term happiness. And you know what? I can't even be mad.